Hey everybody. Today I want to talk about acclimating our fish when we bring them home from the fish store or perhaps even when we transfer them between our own tanks uh, here in our fish room. So I got to get a few things out of the way before I get started. I just want to put a few disclaimers out there. First of all, I'm not a professional. I've got no background in chemistry. I've never imported or bred fish or anything like that. This is all just based on my experience, my research, and plenty of conversations I've had with people who do import and breed and own fish stores and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, I'm not a professional and this is just my opinion. I'm not putting this out there as any kind of advice on how you should manage your own aquarium. And finally, I will say just that. I'm not even suggesting that you should not do the 15 or 20 minute drip acclimation. I myself do that. Uh, I know I recently posted a video about doing water changes and temperature changes during the water change. And as much as I stressed that that was for demonstration purposes only, I myself did not even normally do water changes that way. Uh, a lot of people interpreted that video as being an instructional video on how you should do your water changes and, you know, found a lot of fault with what I was saying. And uh, this is not that. I'm not telling you this is how you should manage your aquarium or acclimate your fish or anything else. I just want to have a conversation about it and then you can do what you think is best for your aquarium. But I want to share my experience and my opinion because I think a lot of people uh, put a little too much uh, value in the floating our fish for 20 minutes. Again, not to say that it has no value, but I think people put too much value into it. And my goal really mostly is just to make sure people sort of keep things in perspective and look at them properly. Uh, it just annoys me when somebody's doing something, even if it's the right thing to do, if they're doing it for the wrong reasons because somebody's told them, you know, the boogeyman's going to come get you if you don't do that. I would much, I'm the guy that's going to come and explain why you really should do that. And in this case, I think that boogeyman is the idea that your fish are not going to be properly acclimated to your water when you don't do this drip acclimation or you float the bag and you put a little bit of water in at a time. That's the way I do it personally. I just let the bag float and then I add a little bit of water to it uh, every now and again when I think about it for maybe half an hour or so and then I slowly tip the fish uh, into the tank and I let them swim out whenever they're ready. Now I know a lot of people don't like to mix the fish store water with their tank water. This is a different conversation than that. That's a different subject altogether. We're not going to discuss that. My concern is the idea that we're acclimating our fish while we do that 15 minute, um, 20 minute drip cycle or whatever you want to do, however you do it, whether it's a siphon slow drip or you do like I do uh, and just put an ounce or two at a time with a turkey baster. Um, that 15 or 20 minutes is not truly acclimating our fish. I'm going to get a little bit pedantic here and say that when we use the term acclimate, we are using it in the vernacular. And I don't have any problem with that. As long as we all understand when we're talking about acclimating our fish, we're not truly acclimating them. If you're from across the pond, you may say acclimatize, same word, tomato, tomato. It's just a different way of saying the same exact thing. So if I do say acclimatize, acclimate, acclimatize, six of one, half does the other, same thing. Um, to, to truly acclimate a fish means that you are giving its body time to adapt physiologically to new conditions. So that would be bringing a fish home in water that is such drastically different water conditions that you have that you need to allow time for this fish's body to physiologically adapt. That is acclimating or acclimatizing a fish to a new environment. And that takes weeks or months if it can even be done. A lot of fish you simply cannot acclimate to a particular type of climate you may want it to go into. What we're doing when we drip our fish for 15 or 20 minutes is getting our fish accustomed to the new tank. Nobody really brings home fish from the store that are going to be in water that's drastically different than theirs. You don't bring home African cichlids for your African cichlid tank and bring them home from the store in soft acidic water. 
you bring them home in water that's appropriate for those fish. It may be different than yours, but it's still appropriate for those fish, just like your water is appropriate for those fish. If you're bringing home fish that go in neutral, soft water like my fish, I'm bringing them home from tanks that are in water that's reasonably close to that. And it's close enough that the fish aren't gonna have to really go through any real genuine physiological changes. Um, you know, whatever little tiny shift in, in uh, osmoregulation or whatever, that, that's not really what counts here. Um, so what we're doing, the way I like to think about the way we're doing this is if you brought a new cat home from the cat store, wherever you buy cats, we always seem to find stray kittens that wander out of the bushes, but wherever you get your cat, you bring your cat home, you got it in your cat carrier, you don't just take the cat and chuck it out into the middle of the room with a bunch of other cats. You take it and you put it in the bedroom and you close the door so all the other cats are in the other part of the house and you let the cat, you leave the door of the carrier open, you let that cat come out when it's ready, you let it explore its environment at its own pace. You're reducing the stress on this animal as it becomes accustomed to its new environment. The cat's not undergoing any physiological changes to adapt to its new habitat. You're simply getting it used to this new environment and kind of easing it into it so that it's a little less stressful for this animal making this transition into this new home. And that's what we're doing when we bring these fish home and we float them for 15 or 20 minutes. 15 or 20 minutes, even if you were trying to change, it's not enough time to do anything. What do you think is happening in that fish's body in 15 minutes? All you're really doing is putting a little bit of the tank water in there with it. You're letting it get used to the taste and the smell or whatever fish, however they perceive their water. You're letting them sort of get used to the idea that there's gonna be new water coming in. They can see the other fish through the tank. They can see their environment. The other fish can see them. Maybe you turn the light out. I always turn the light out on mine. Further reduces stress on the animal. And again, when I tip the bag up, I just tip the bag up, I let the fish swim out, I don't just pour it into the tank, I let the fish swim out on its own and go into the tank when it feels ready. And that's what that 15 or 20 minute, you know, acclimation is. I'm not saying when you bring fish home, they don't have to be adjusted to your water to some degree, but if you're taking 15 minutes to do it, you're not taking long enough. If you really want to adjust those fish, if you've got a pH swing of like a whole point, you're going to need hours to get a fish from eight to seven, you know, on pH. A whole full point is a big jump in pH. It's 10 times more or less acidic. And so for that kind of a jump, anything less than a full point and, you know, your half an hour little drip acclimation is probably going to be fine. The fish will take longer than that to adjust but the shock of that much change isn't going to hurt it. It will be able to adjust once you've Put it in the tank if you're trying to adjust the ph more than a point you know now you're talking about the fish physiologically having to sort of adapt to new water condition and that takes time if you're trying to adjust the fish to a new ph you kind of need to set up a tank for the fish in the ph that it's in and slowly over days or again depending on how far and how much you're trying to change it you may take weeks or even months and you slowly, water change by water change by water change, you shift the conditions this fish is in, and eventually it will now be ready to go into the kind of tank you want to put it in. Most of the time, more often than not, when we bring fish home, the, the water they're in is so close to the water we're, we're bringing them home to put them in that they're not acclimating to a new environment. They're getting accustomed to a new environment when we bring them home and we float them for 15 or 20 minutes. So again, that's my unprofessional two cents. I'm not saying don't bother. I think it's good to reduce the stress. I recommend doing it. I always do it at least a half an hour, 45 minutes. A lot of times I'll forget about it and go upstairs for a little while, I'll come back down half an hour, I add a little more water. And you know, I let them sort of ease into the transition. If I'm in a hurry, I don't always do that. You know, I'm not great about doing it. I don't always do it because I know I'm not really allowing the fish to physiologically adjust to any new water conditions. I'm just giving them some time to get used to being in a new tank without the shock of just tossing them in and having done with it. And finally, I will add with about the temperature. That's the other thing. People say you float the bag to let the water temperatures adjust. 
I don't know where people get this idea that fish cannot tolerate the slightest adjustment in water temperatures without going into some kind of shock and dying. You can adjust the temperature of fish by several degrees, up or down, without any hesitation whatsoever. If you're dropping the water temperature down, you can go down even more than you can going up. But three, four degrees either direction, you know, changing it from 80 to 76 or 78 to 82, that's not going to hurt your fish or bother your fish. So if you bring the fish home, you got it in your bag, let's say the fish keeps them in really warm water, it's 85 degrees. You think that water's still 85 degrees when you got it home? It's probably not. It's probably getting close to room temperature, which is probably close to where your tanks are sitting. And the tiny little adjustment of water temperature that you're letting, again, you're not really doing anything as far as physiologically changing that fish. When you float it for 15 minutes, that tiny little bit of water change temperature, you know, again, fish are just not that fragile that the tiniest little half a degree in water temperature change is going to shock their system or something or kill them. That's ridiculous. It's just, you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So again, do float your fish, do drip the water, give them time, turn the light out, do all the stuff you're recommended to do. And if you feel that you want to separate the fish from the aquarium store water, go for it you know again i'm not telling you how to manage your tank i'm just telling you my perspective on what we accomplish by floating these fish if you disagree with me that's fine i'd like to hear your opinions about what you think is actually going on in this 15 minute or 20 minute uh span of time you know if you really think there are some physiological changes going on there by all means let me know i'd love to hear what you uh think is actually happening in that tiny little uh short time period there so again leave your comments down below so make sure you're subscribed if you like this kind of video let me know i'm always happy to share my two cents and my opinion with everybody if that's what you enjoy that's what i'll uh, certainly focus on doing more of so again make sure you're subscribed make sure you ring that bell check out my patreon page if you're interested in that and i'll see you real soon in the next one